Hey gang, welcome to Yoga with Maria. I'm Maria and today we're practicing Locust Pose. Locust Pose is a back bend done on your belly and it's one of my favorite poses to strengthen the muscles of the back. So grab your mat, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Let's get started. All right, yogis, we're gonna start at the front of your mat standing up. So find your way there on your mat or in the space that you've created. Take the hands to touch in the front of the heart. Feel the feet pressing down into the mat. Pull the low belly slightly up. Close the eyes. Just allow yourself a moment to arrive. Allow yourself a moment to breathe. Just starting out by knowing that you've chosen something good for yourself and just that choice is enough. When you're ready, flutter the eyes open. Breathe in, reach the arms up and then take the hands behind the back, kind of at the nape of the neck here. And then pull the elbows in and reach the elbows up towards the ceiling. Keep pressing down into the feet, low belly pulls in. Just a little back bend here. Take a breath in. Keep pressing the feet down. The legs are active. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly come back to center. Release the hands down. And then reach the arms back up. Look up. Exhale. Fold over the legs. Hands come to the mat. Let the head fall heavy. Breathe in, look forward. Breathe out, step the left foot back and spin the heel down. From here, you'll lift up, arms lift up for warrior one. Press forward, press, bend the right knee rather and pull the right hip back. Low belly pulls in to lift the chest. Arms reach up. Breathe in, keep bending into the front knee so you feel an opening in the front of the left leg. Breathe out. From here, hands come to the mat, spin your back heel up. We'll take down dog split, right leg sweeps up, and then bend the knee, open the hip. From here, you'll straighten the leg, square the hip, and then step the foot between the hands, back knee taps down. Untuck the toes, and then walk the hands to the top of the thigh. Press down into the thigh, into the thigh to lift the chest. Take one more breath in and out. Hands come to the mat, tuck the back toes and then just straighten out the right leg for a moment and just step forward, come to a forward fold. Breathe in to look forward. Breathe out, the right foot steps back, spin the right heel down. Breathe in, press down into the back foot to lift yourself up for warrior one. Left hip pulls back, keep bending into the left knee, arms reach up, low belly pulls in, keep lifting the chest. Really find strength in the legs so that you can lift the chest out of the waist. Hands come to the mat, spin your right heel up. Breathe in, down dog split. Bend the knee, open the hip. So nice, and then step the foot back forward and drop your right knee down, untuck the toes. Walk the hands to the top of the thigh, press down into the leg to lift the chest. Low belly pulls in. Hmm. Take one more breath in and out. Hands come to the mat, tuck back toes, lift the back knee, straighten out the left leg, and then re-bend the knee, plant the hands, step to plank pose. Take a breath in. On your breath out, bend the elbows straight back and lower all the way to your belly as slow as you can. Untuck the toes at the bottom. Take the hands underneath the armpits and then wrap the elbows back towards one another. Press down into the tops of the feet. Breathe in, lift the head and the chest. You'll feel the pelvis press down into the mat for cobra pose. So you'll start to wake up the back, the muscles of the back here. And then to wake them up a little bit more, hover the hands off the mat. Keep pressing down into the feet. Use the legs to lift the chest. And then lower the forehead to the mat. You can swivel the hips to release the low back a little bit here. Yeah. And then take the arms long by the sides. 
The backs of the hands will press down into the mat. Breathe in, lift the head, the chest, and the feet. Press the backs of the hands into the mat. This is locust pose, Shalabhasana. So really feel the fleshy part of the belly pressing down. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Point the toes, press down to lift up, and then maybe you'll hover the hands off the mat as well, feeling the arm bones externally rotate so that the shoulders become a little bit more broad. Think about reaching from the crown of the head forward and the toes reach back. So you're looking for more length, finding a little bit of space between each vertebrae, vertebra rather, and then slowly lower down. Take one cheek to the mat, swivel the hips to release the low back. Good, and then we'll take the forehead back to the mat. Well, we're gonna take one more variation. From here, interlace the hands behind the back. And then pull the hands down towards your tailbone or towards your heels. The elbow or the shoulders will lift up off the mat. And then breathe in, lift the head, the chest, and the feet. Just another variation of locust pose or shalabhasana. Same thing here. Reach the crown of the head forward, reach the toes back. See if you can find more length rather than lifting up. We want the legs to be straight. And so instead of bending the knees, really lengthen out the legs. And then slowly lower the forehead to the mat, drop the other cheek and swivel the hips side to side. So nice, take the forehead back to the mat. Press into the hands to find hands and knees. Find a comfortable seat. Hands rest on the lap. Take a few breaths here just to notice your energy level in the body. Notice the quality of your breath, the state of your mind. Take the hands to touch in front of the heart. Put a little tuck in the chin. Namaste, yogis. Thanks so much for joining today. If you'd like to continue on this backbending journey, strengthening the muscles of the back and opening the heart space of the body and the front of the body, continue on by checking out this video for Bridge Pose. It's another backbend, this time on the back. Let me know how it goes. I'll see you there.